hello and welcome back to one of my more simpler videos targeted towards novices. Today we are once again dealing with the topic graphics driver installation. Previously I've shown you how it's done with Nvidia, but today I'll show you how graphics drivers are installed for AMD graphics cards. As always, there's actually nothing you could do wrong in the process. I'll soon also upload another video in which I'll show you how such an AMD graphics driver is best uninstalled in a clean fashion. To all of you that already know about the basics when it comes to PCs, feel free to click away this video anytime. But every single one of us had to start somewhere at some point. So this video simply is targeted towards those that don't have that much experience with PCs yet. Let's go. Just in case Windows 10 hasn't already installed a driver for you automatically, you'll notice that the windows within the operating system when moving them around are quite laggy, choppy. Plus you'll most likely run into some limitations when it comes to screen resolution and 3D applications likely won't run at all or at best very poorly. And this is exactly why we have to install graphics drivers, preferably the latest ones. Please do not go with the ones Windows sometimes installs for you. Step 1 would be to search for AMD drivers online. For your convenience, I've put the link down in the video description for you. Navigate to AMD's driver support website, starting on the left, select graphics and then your graphics card series. Just in case you don't know what model you have in your PC, it could help taking a quick look at your graphics cards box or packaging or just inspect your PC's spec sheet. I personally happen to own a so-called Radeon RX 5700 XT, so I select the correct series and then the exact model. On the next page we can now choose from drivers for different operating systems. If you're using Windows, I hope you're using Windows 10, simply download the driver and wait for the download to complete. Once that's done, open the freshly downloaded file and click on install. The files are now being extracted. After a short while of waiting, we can now do some clicking again. We are given the option to specify the install location, the directory and whether or not we want a factory reset. Such would basically remove the previous AMD driver along with its settings. I would recommend going for this option if you experienced problems with your older drivers and now want to try your luck with newer ones. It's also advisable to select this option if Windows was faster than you and already installed some driver for you before you could. In my case today, no need to go for a factory reset. And yeah, following that, just click on install and wait. This doesn't even take long with AMD and don't worry about the screen going black a few times and the screen resolution readjusting itself. And we are pretty much good to go already. Now I'd recommend restarting your PC and once you're back on the desktop, we can now say the graphics driver installation is now complete. As you saw yourselves, it's that simple, there's nothing you can do wrong. I am of course fully aware of the fact that many don't need such a video, but as said before, this is meant for those that just got into PCs recently. And if I manage to give those people just the tiniest little bit of extra security with this video, in my eyes my mission is complete. With that being said, thanks a lot for watching.